Cross ventilation is one of the most common forms of passive ventilation for a home and uses wind to bring air through the building. It can help cool the home without air conditioning, requires no energy, and can earn points towards certifying your home under the National Green Building Standard. It works by having wind enter through an opening of the home and allowing the air to flow directly through a space and out another opening. While it seems straightforward, there are several factors that need to be considered when designing your home for cross ventilation. Some of the key factors to good cross ventilation design are the size and orientation of the building. In general, narrow buildings tend to have better cross ventilation. It is difficult to distribute fresh air to all portions of a very wide building using natural ventilation. To help orient your building, look at the prevailing winds for your site throughout the year. Generally, orienting the building so that its shorter axis aligns with prevailing summer winds will provide the most natural ventilation, while orienting it perpendicular to prevailing winds will provide the least ventilation. Keep in mind, the prevailing summer wind directions listed by weather data may not be the actual prevailing wind directions depending on local site obstructions such as trees or other buildings. Sizing and placement of openings is also essential. There needs to be a minimum of two openings, such as windows or sliding glass doors, placed on adjacent or opposite walls of the space. The openings must be able to be opened and closed by the occupant, as a great deal of adjustability may be required depending on wind conditions at different times of the year. If there is only one wall surface in that space exposed to the exterior, the openings may be on the same wall, but the possibility of cross-ventilation effect is limited. To earn credit with the National Green Building Standard, the size of the operable windows, skylights, or sliding glass doors must be at least 15% of the conditioned floor area they serve. Consult with your local builder, architect, or engineer to better determine what works for your home and site. Wind-driven ventilation is also dependent on a number of other factors, including the tightness of the building envelope, the amount of wind available, and of course, how well wind is able to travel through the home. Internal spaces and structural elements can even be designed to channel air through the building in different directions. While cross-ventilation is a great option for your home, some important things to keep in mind are that a mechanical system will still most likely be necessary in order to ensure ventilation continues when wind is unavailable and in cold months when windows will be shut. During heat waves, air conditioning will also still be necessary for comfort. Lastly, open windows in urban environments may increase exposure to external noise or air pollution, so be sure to weigh the pros against the cons before designing your home around cross-ventilation. To learn more about other practices that can help earn you certification under the National Green Building Standard, you can purchase a hard copy or download a free electronic copy of the standard at builderbooks.com ngbs.